We have a lot of work to do here at Weston before we're ready for our first game in the National South. So let's just get started. Hi folks and welcome to Club One, episode two of Half Star to Five Star here on Football Manager 24. I'm Russ, coming up today we are going to have the transfer window. We're also going to have our first competitive game, which is against Havert in Waterlooville. That's on the 5th of August, so we've got about a month to get this squad ready for that game. If you have a look at the squad, we've seen it briefly at the end of episode one. We need a lot of work. We have 16 players, what this player are injured. We need defenders, massively need defenders. Everywhere else, I think we're gonna be okay. Maybe we bring in another strike as well to cover for this injury, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be, uh, gonna be a lot of work. If you have a look at the tactic, once again, it is this here, uh, the three, two, one, two, two. This is what they're saying our best 11 is from these formations and positions. It's going to be going to be fun. So, uh, yeah, let's just jump straight into it for the transfer window. We haven't done anything since you last uh, left us. Uh, we have put a couple of uh, job adverts out for positions uh, in the coaching team. We need a we need a coach. We Ideally, we need a fitness coach. But we just haven't got the money for it at the moment. So, it's going to bring in a general coach just to cover some of these roles down here, especially defence attack. See if we can get someone in there. We don't even have a scouting team, so we can't bring any players in until that there has been sorted. Hopefully, we can do that quite quickly. Yep, so uh, what's the dynamics like? Poor on team cohesion, that's because we haven't got that many players. The managerial support is average, it's because we're new here. And club atmosphere is very, very good. Go have a look at the club vision again quickly. So they're expecting us to avoid relegation. Now, normally, if you've got that there, if you get relegated, you don't get sacked. But because we're in the lowest league in England, we get relegated, we're going to get sacked. So we need to avoid that at all cost. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to have a look around for some players now, do a little bit of scouting, see what we can bring in. Finance-wise, we have no transfer budget and we have about £200, £150 in the wage budget. So we need free loan deals. Let's see what we can find. Try and improve this squad. It's going to be tough though. Player number one through the door then is a centre-back, an area we needed to improve. Keno Unguipisi. I'm going to say that name wrong so many times, so I do apologise. Uh, comments down in the comments section of how you would pronounce this name. Uh, and, and I'll try and put it into the save. But yeah, he, he joins us paying him £230 a week. He can also play a right back, so it's two areas that we're definitely going to improve there. Really happy with this sign-in. 19 years old, three and a half star currently, really five star potential. Good National League South player, can be a National League standard player once he reaches that. So he's going to play those games. The only thing I'm not particularly happy about is he hasn't got the consistency, but we can work on it. Other players we're looking at bringing in. We've got these two on trial with us at the moment. We've offered contracts to. We do have a few more players that we've got on contract, uh, well, on trial that we're trying to get in, but money's just not there at the moment. Some of these players aren't going to make it. Nathan Smith, not good enough, so we're going to release him. And we've got two players from, I think it was, yeah, it had to have been the chip in them, say, DJ Compton Sturridge and uh, Caleb Chuck Wumaker. We had them there. Uh, they're free agents, so we're going to try and bring them in to improve the attack. Transfers have been hard so far, but we've managed to bring in another player. It is on loan from Spartans. At left back, Harvey Swan, 25 years old, two star current ability, three and a half star potential. What's saying here is a leading regional Premier Divisions player. I need a left back. We've got this guy in. I think he can do a job for us back there. We'll just have to see. In terms of trans other transfers potentially coming in. Uh, we're looking at these two striker-wise. We need players there, and we're also looking at a defender. So, fingers crossed we can bring them in. We're coming up to the first game of the new season as well. So, if these transfers don't go through before then, you'll see us for that first game. So, no transfers did go through. We are jumping straight into the first game of the new season. The new save as well. Home to Haven in Waterlooville. The team we're putting out there to hopefully get us through. Get us at least a point, maybe. Uh, before we're going to do that, actually, I'm going to have a look at the league table. I want to see where the media are thinking. I mean, originally they fought 16th. Now they're thinking 17th. So we've dropped down a little bit. We don't have anyone in the Dream 11. And in the key player sections, we've only got Lloyd Humphreys and Harvey Lee. So just the two players in there. Right, team section for the match. And we are going with this formation. It's done okay. I guess in the friendlies, but I mean, this is now going to be proof in the pudding. 
will it work for us or will we need to adjust it? The team we're putting out there then is Lee in goal. A back three of Swan, Nguise PC. I'm going to butcher that so many times. And Thomas, Morton and Jaeger Kane in front of him in, in the defensive and field position. Dodds in the centre of the pitch. Grubb on the left, Edwards on the right. And then Reed and Jackson, Jackson, sorry, leading the attacking line. Go out there, boys. Do your best. Let's see how well we can get on here. Fingers crossed it is going to be a really good performance for us that we can uh, we can build on. Uh, we'll see that make full advantage of it. Uh, Western haven't been in this league for four years, so it is a massive step up for them. Before we do that, we'll have a check that all this is where I want it. I want the camera there and I want the zoom there. TV, key highlights, that's a good pace. No match replays or goal replays or highlight replays. I don't, I don't do that on the channel. Just want the action straight away. And um, yeah, how is this formation going to hold up for us? Uh, all these tutorials coming through. And it is a corner for Havant Waterlooville. First highlight of the game is towards the edge of the box. Oh, they hit the crossbar. Get rid of it. And he does, he does get rid of it. And it's only to one of their players towards the halfway line. Nothing comes of it. Highlight does end there. It's been a... Decent opening 20 minutes, I'd say. Having a more blue feel, we've had the the better of the action so far by the match stats. We've got a highlight here with Haven't. Can we get the ball off of them? They're playing in the space at the moment. They fed that through. Need to save it. We don't. We concede on our first game. Haven't won. Western nil. It's not the start we wanted, but we can improve from here. That's the main thing. And they've, they've done the right side to put the ball in the box again. What are we doing? What are we doing? We're 2 0 down. Two quick goals from having it in Waterlooville. Deary, deary me. We need to wake up. Massively, massively need to wake up. We need to wake up quickly. We're building up from the back, the back then, straight away from the kickoff. Morton's got the ball. In to Reed. Where's the space? Where are the players to? Oh, we're giving it away, aren't we? No, Grubb's got it back. Plays it back into Morton. Feeds it into the box. It's too close to the goalkeeper. Wasted opportunity. Maybe route one isn't going to work for us. We need to adjust it possibly. Ball gets pumped forward. We should deal with this one. Swan heads it and he's just giving it away. And in the box. Oh, they hit the post. The post comes to save us. We've been 3 0 down inside three minutes there. Three quick goals potentially for having in Waterlooville. But no, it is just the two so far. I'm going to shout with the boys. I'm going to I'm going to fire them up see if that can get them going hopefully can find a goal before the end of this half we have 10 minutes left we haven't offered anything attacking wise we've been pretty much toothless as we get the ball out to his left hand side to grub puts it into the box to edwards it's a poor header easy save for the goalkeeper it's just a cushion header towards goal i mean if he had a bit of power on there maybe it would have troubled him a bit more Although we've got the ball again. Jackson receives it from Dodds into Grubb. Reads in the box. Have a shot, son. Oh, hits the crossbar. He hits the crossbar with that shot. Another day, a little bit lower, goes in the back of the net. We are we're probing. We're trying to get a goal here. We're trying to give the fans something to cheer about. Half time, 2 0 down. Big, big half time team talk from us then. I'm going to say that to him. And then. Well, I mean, what do we do substitution-wise? Everyone's looking okay at the moment. The right back, maybe we change the right back. Bring Pope on. Yeah, we'll do that. Pope can come on for Thomas. And get the boys back out there straight away from the kickoff. Then it is having a Waterlooville. They ain't got Kurt Zuma there, or is it just another player with the name of Zuma? We're going to go with that. Feeding it into their defence, we need to win this ball. We can't allow them to get a goal this early in the second half and go 3-0 up. I mean, that will just rock us completely. And they've, oh, they're just running through our players. That's not what I wanted to happen. 3-0. This is going to be a hard, hard start to, 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 to FM24. My word, is it going to be hard. We need to pick ourselves up. I mean, do we... Do I, I'm going to tell them to go on the positive mentality. I'm also going to encourage the boys just to see if we can wake them up. Ball gets floated in towards the box. We have got it clear. Dodds chasing this ball. Hasn't got to it. And there's the fourth. No, no, it's been ruled off. Oh, we've had a little bit of luck our way. Massive bit of luck coming our way there. We need a little bit more now here. Corner goes in. Back post. 
It's been cleared. Pope's there to pick it up. Gives it to that, that, that man. Jackson's there. He hits the post. He's offside anyway. Oh, can we get a goal? Can we buy a goal? Can we buy anything in this game? I don't think we're going to come out of it with the three points. But if we can at least get one or two goals and, and make it competitive, that would be brilliant. Dodds wins it back. Gives it to Jackson. Over to Reed. Grub on this left-hand side. Where's the cross going to be? Towards Edwards. It's, it's deep. There's Dodd with the ball. Oh, get in there. There's one goal. Come on. 57 minutes on the clock. 3-1 now. More like that, please, boys. Can we get ourselves a second goal? Clear this corner and go on the counter-attack. It's towards the edge of the box. It's gone through everyone. And found its way in the back of the net. 4-1. Right on the hour mark as well. Oh, what do we do? I'm not used to this. I'm really not used to losing. Um, Reed gives it to Grub. Grub. Grub just gives it to Dodd. Dodd, the goal scorer, to Jaeger Kane. That's gone in. It wasn't, was it? It was Jackson. I can't remember who scored the goal now. And we're just giving the ball away there, right on the edge of the box. Giving them an opportunity to attack us again. If we go 5-1 down then, things are going to be difficult. They've given it away. Morton's got it. Swan on this left-hand side. Pumps that forward, trying to find Reed. Can't find him. And again, haven't Waterlooville got it. We've got it back, though. Can we keep it tight? Keep it tight. Keep it to the boys. Reed's got it. Floats that one into Jackson with the header. Come on. 4-2. Quick counter-attack from us then. It was Dodd that did score the goal. Make a change. Who's looking Who's looking tired? Marlon Jackson's tired. So we're going to bring Oscar Collins on for him. Um, oh, he can't play any of those roles. What, what, what roles can you play? Up front. You can play advanced forward. So we'll, we'll change that. We'll change. We'll swap you two round. You can go on the advance four because that's all you can do. And I'm not going to make any other changes just yet. That's what I'm going to do as we have a goal kick. Lee pumps this ball forward to that right-hand side. Reed's under it. Can't get it. Nguiz Pissy's got it into Edwards. Dodd feeds that forward. It's Collins. Oh, he comes on and scores. Come on. 4-3. We're back in this game. Oh, let's give him some praise. They have done so well to get themselves back into this. One more goal to get us the point. Can we do it? Um, Harvey Swan's having a poor game on 6.2. We'll probably be taking him off next. As Harry Lee gets the ball from the, the ball that got floated in. Launches it long down his left-hand side. Fine, trying to find Collins. Doesn't. And uh, oh, we've just watched the ball go through then. Oh, luckily, luckily the shot is poor. Goes past the post. We're ball watching, weren't we? Absolutely ball watching him. Right, change. We don't have anyone who can play right back. Uh, left back, sorry. So he's going to have to stay on. And Avery can... Uh, no, uh, do we bring Avery on? Yeah, we'll bring Avery on. That's the change. Final change of the game. We've got five minutes left to go. Let's encourage him. And I'm also going to go on the attack. For, well, I've got six minutes of time added on. Go on the attack for that. See if we can get ourselves an equaliser. I don't think it's going to come, though. Don't think it's going to come. No. Full time whistle. An eventful first game of the season for us. We're 3-0 down. We got it back to 4-3. We just couldn't find that equalising goal. I'm I'm proud of them, but it just wasn't their day. Let's say that to them. I don't want to I don't want to kick them when they're down. That's something I, mean, I think that's the worst thing we can do to the team at the moment. Kick them while they're down. They lost that game. They managed to try well, they tried to get themselves back into it. We know we got goals. We just need to sort this defence out now. So, table, where are we? I know it's only one game played so far. We are in 14th. We're not in the bottom four. That's good. Hopefully we can stay away from there. Schedule-wise then, I'm thinking we come back at the end of the month. We'll get a couple of games under our belt and then we'll come back for the Hemel Hempstead game and the Eastbourne Borough game. So, starts off with a loss. We got some players in. We have a hell of a lot of work to do. I need to have a around this uh, tactic, see what I can do to make it work. Maybe Route 1 isn't the option. If you guys enjoyed that, drop a big thumbs up on the video for me. And as always, folks, thank you very much for watching.